Okay. Well, the voice recording memo has it. Look at. <laughs> it weird. knows. It knows we're here. It's all clearing up. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, guys? So, we just made it down from our backpacking trip up to the Guadalupe Peak. Got to the highest point of Texas. Twice. Yep. We went there after we made camp. And uh, we went there for the sunset and the moonrise. And the moonrise definitely outshone the sunset. Just saying. Out what? It outshone. Shun. <laughs> it outdid the sunset. It outran the sunset. I was doing some of that Texas conjugation. Oh, yeah. Where you conjugate the words how you feel. And you feel how you conjugate. Exactly. <laughs> well, we did a lot of promoting. We yep. gave out more than 30. Yeah, we gave out more than 30. And uh, we also took some video footage that everybody wave at the camera. Some yep. people wanted to. Other people were like, creeped out about it maybe understandable yeah understandable they don't want to be on some random youtube they've never even heard of just look at us yeah makes a lot of sense yeah exactly but there was one person who didn't accept our sticker and it was terrible because immediately afterwards him and his dad were like walking down the switch back and his dad fell yeah, yeah i felt bad he stepped on a rock and he uh, was okay but man it looked he like hit a bad hard fall. and we saw him around here down on the campground he was kind of limping yeah but i know i'd feel that in the morning and those rocks were kind of slippery that was a weird tough part but it really wasn't that tough you just had to be smart where you stepped not on the rocks or on those wood thing the yeah. wood stuff they put for the hikers and then we met an interesting gentleman ironically he lives in el paso i don't know if he's from el paso um but he's telling us about how I, you can eat a little bit of sugar at night to stay warm because that's why yeah. you feel cold. Not necessarily the temperature drop. That 2 o'clock temperature drop is because your body ran out of that quick access to sugar to make heat. Makes a lot of sense. I never even thought in those kinds of terms before, but he's absolutely right. Yeah, he's, he seemed like a really experienced. He was going up there to backpack, actually, and mm -hmm. all he had was like a little fanny pack, a little waterproof fanny pack, and just a small backpack, and he was just going to camp under a tarp. So He's going to set up a little tarp thing that he made he made personally which is awesome yep see how how it works for him hope yeah. it goes well thank you, you for the advice too yep. yeah we hope you you hope we hope you subscribe and we get hope. to see us <laughs> giving you a thumbs up because that and was hope, super cool and we hope your tarp thing works out <laughs> yeah i think it will you seem like a very intelligent man <laughs> yep this was a lot easier than any of the ones we've done this is the easiest one we've done it was well uh, manicured i can say the trail we had tent pads so like yeah. It was cool because we didn't have to set up it was absolutely elevated when we it's like when you sleep at night like you got to sleep with your head above your feet and or on a perfectly level surface and we actually got that this time which we hardly ever get and that does make a big difference on comfort. Yeah, it does. I woke up refreshed. Yep. I got to tell you like fresh off the trail refreshed. some of refreshed. the best sleep I ever had. Yeah. And I me even too. had one nightmare. <laughs> yeah. So at night I hear Wesley go Whoa! And I kind of freak out a little bit. I'm like, "You okay, Wes?" And he's like, "I just had a dream that my dad dropped my kettlebell and he broke it. <laughs> and he broke it." <laughs> oh so, my! So now oh, okay. you guys know what my nightmares are like. <laughs> I'm just gonna go back to bed. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't have fires up there, which really didn't make too much of a difference. We didn't get to enjoy it, but we uh, we brought a little. Uh, fuel can and just a stovetop burner and, and that thing was honestly one of the coolest things we had yeah it, like, we boiled water in like a fourth of the time and you know what uh, we're gonna still look at a, a jet boil this thing comes into a, a little tiny little pouch and it weighs practically nothing yep and all you need to do is carry your fuel which you would have had to do with a jet boil anyways yeah so I don't know. We're going to still see what it's like. We're going to put all our cooking gear on the scale and then put the jet boil on the scale and see if that's, that works. Yeah, the pros and cons. But uh, it's all about the weight. Yep. Uh, got to meet a lot of cool people. That was that was pretty awesome. Shout out to all you beautiful peeps that we met on the trail. Yeah, you all were absolutely wonderful to us. Except and, for uh, the one who didn't want our sticker, not you. 
Definitely not you. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> It's free. Why why don't you want anything free? It was our sticker. <laughs> we poured our heart and soul into it. We did. And for all you guys who accepted our sticker even though you didn't want it, we thank you. Yeah, we thank you. It made us feel good inside. <laughs> it did. It, it get, that gave us the drive to make it to the peak. So we could give more stickers out. On the way down. <laughs> <laughs> but... What do you classify this as? I classify this as super easy. Like if this is, if honestly, if you're your first backpacking t- time going backpacking, this is the place to go. Mm-hmm. Super easy, campgrounds leveled, the weather, most likely you won't get too crazy of a weather. Yep. Only thing I'd say, watch out. If you come in the summer, it becomes really hot up here. Uh, the wind can be an issue. And, you know, pack light because it's not really that far. There's no need to bring the kitchen sink on this kind of a trip. Exactly. You know, because you're going to have to pack heavy in water. So pack as light as possible. Yep. Water is the, the, what you want. On yep. Because there is no water source up there. Nope. Unless you drink the dew off the clouds, which you're not a plant. So I don't know how you're going to do that. Nope. Me neither. <laughs> but, all right. This is uh, Fresh Off the Trail, Obscure Terrain. Another adventure down, and uh, we'll be back. Catch y'all on the flip side. On the flip side. What are you singing? I do not know. It creeps me out just so you can know.